Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tanzil Mirza. Today we will see how to install Docker on a Linux machine. I am using Linux Mint for this demo. My version is Linux Mint 20.1 Cinnamon. You may be having this version or 2-3 versions here and there. It's okay, doesn't matter. It's because the commands that we are going to use today will be generic. And in this demo, I will not talk about Docker in detail. It's not a Docker related video. It's just the installation thing. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward installation using command line tool. And without much ado, let's start with the installation process. So I'll open up a terminal here. And and guys, one more important thing I wanted to tell you that uh, if any moment I feel like that a particular command is taking longer than expected, then I would be pausing the video there or uh, skipping the that particular part so please feel free to skip that portion okay so let's start so we'll start with our same old update command and this command is uh, particular to Linux it has nothing to do with docker right now so we'll do sudo apt we'll just update the repository first sudo apt get update and just give the password my keyboard is quite now noisy so please bear with me once done now we can install the docker right away so the command for installing the docker is sudo apt get install i have a very bad habit of hitting the enter key so hard okay let's provide all the permission let's continue it is installing everything I'll pause the video here docker hyphen V and this will give us the version so the version is 19.03.8 and the build version is this okay now let's start uh, start the docker sudo to start the docker we have this command sudo system systemctl start docker okay now the next step is to enable the docker sudo systemctl enable docker okay the system has been enabled the docker has been enabled now let's see the status of this docker service sudo same command system ctl just one parameter will change here docker and yes we can see it's up and running so the status is active and it's running and this is rest of the information okay so this being done status is okay up and running after this i recommend you to reboot your pc so i have all uh, i've already rebooted my pc once uh, while i was installing it so you can also skip this portion and just reboot your system and come back after that uh, what we what we have to do uh, we'll run a sample docker image so uh, there is a sample uh, docker image which is hosted on docker hub so we'll start with that now image to run that image we have this command sudo docker run hello world this is a sample image I'll press enter so here is an error message it's not an error message actually uh, let it complete first then I'll explain you what happened here so what happens notice that here it says at this line it says that unable to find the image hello world this is because in in first attempt it tries to find that particular image in your local and if that image is not present there if it is not there in your machine then it will download it from the docker hub so this is what just happened here and rest of the message uh, is self-explanatory you can just go through the message and especially this portion is very important you can go through this uh, portion as well Next. 
Docker Compose. Compose is a, is a tool for running multi container Docker application. We'll talk about this in some other video. Uh, let's first continue with the installation process for now. So for that first we'll install the Docker Compose. For that the command is sudo sudo app sudo apt install docker compose it is installing just continue with that it will take a good amount of time docker compose spelling mistake hyphen v this is the version number or I think for more detailed answer you can just do this okay yeah you can use this command as well so this will give you the version number that has been installed so for that the command is docker docker has a container and just uh, we'll use this ls command okay so here what it is saying that got permission denied while trying to connect to the docker daemon socket at this and clearly we can see that the permission is denied so you are getting this because uh, because docker daemon always runs as a super user or as a root user so to fix this access denied issue to fix this message will uh, will try to add docker to the group so for da that we have this command sudo group add docker okay it already exists let it be and then we'll uh, set some password wt hyphen a dollar and inside flower back brackets we'll type user in caps lock and then docker this will add you to the docker group okay adding user expert to docker group so you have been added like that finally what you have to do is sudo hyphen dollar and inside the far brackets you will use this user invalid x what did i do there is some problem with the command I have to give a space over here let's see password it is asking just give your system password and done okay so now again I would like to reboot my system I would like to recommend you to reboot your system as well so uh, you can reboot your system and come back I know now again we'll try to run this command so earlier when we run this command docker container ls we were getting this permission denied now we'll try to run this command again container yes there there we go so now we are able to access this folder as well so this is how you install docker uh, in the upcoming videos we'll talk about docker and explore its features in detail so this is it for today that's it for today thanks for watching guys thank you so much